we're, we're here to start another tutorial in which I'm going to teach you how to make a character customization menu. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to create it right now so you can see it. Character customization menu. So, in this tutorial, what we're going to create is just a simple menu with a couple of simple sprites, and I'm going to teach you how to change the options and how to get a character customized as your player wants. Uh, this first one is going to only be about the uh, looks of the character and this and then um, on next tutorial we're gonna create a little uh, strength agility intel intelligence and then uh, we're going to actually make our character be something you know be an actual game object but I'm gonna teach you how to create him from, from scratch not from a prefab we can do whatever I'm just I just want to teach you that because it's something that everyone should know so I created a canvas for our menu. In our canvas, I'm going to create, oops, a panel. Panel. I'm going to change the color of this panel to blue because that's what I like right now. It's like purple or something. I don't, I don't care. Um, I'm going to create an image. Right here. This is going to be our character's representation. I'm gonna put it over here, rather, a little taller. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna create a couple UI texts. They're gonna be every single text is gonna be similar to the rest. So I'm gonna delete this. Well, I'm gonna make the first one hair, hair type. Uh, set it to 22. Black. This is just personal preference. Uh, so you can do whatever you want. Hair type. And now, hair type text. I'm going to duplicate it by hitting Ctrl and D. I'm going to call it color text. So it's going to be clothes color. Oops. It's too much text for this box. So I'm going to enlarge the box a little bit. <clears throat> and, uh, and I'm going to duplicate this one again. I'm going to move it over here. It's going to be strength. I'm going to duplicate it again. This is going to be agility. Text. I forgot the text on the upper one. Text. One more for intelligence. Text. Now I'm going to, you know, change the text. It's going to be strength, agility, and intelligence. intelligence. Okay, now what, what else do we need? We need buttons. We need buttons to change our everything, our hair type, our whatever we want to change. So text. I don't want any text on my button, so I'm just going to use this. It's going to be my hair changer button. I'm going to change the image on it. I'm going to change the image on my button to the drop down arrow. And I'm going to rotate it on the C axis by 90 degrees over here. <clears throat> so I'm going to make it smaller, it's too big. Okay. That works. That's perfect. Uh, maybe a little, there you go. Now I'm going to duplicate it, move it over here. I'm going to call it color changer button. And then I am going to create another duplicate. So I my strength. This is not for this tutorial, I'm just setting everything up. Button. And then another one is going to be agility button. And then another one is going to be intelligence button. So agility, calm down. Intelligence, hold it down. Intelligence, the word doesn't fit. So I'm going to make the box bigger. Set, save the scene. For saving it, I'm going to create a new folder. It's going to be called scene. And in it, just the number one. Okay, so we have our menu set up. 
So what do we need to do now? Well, we need to import our sprite sheet. That's the first thing. I'm going to import my Robin tutorial SS, that PSD file, which is going to be in the description. I'm going to, I'm going to create a new folder. This folder is going to be called resources. Why? Because Unity has this special method, a special function that's called uh, resources.load. It only works if you have a resources folder on your project. I'm going to teach you how. For, for now, I have to multiply, select, um, you know, set up the sprites, no map maps, point, max size 128, and it's going to be true color. Apply, and then go to sprite editor. Sprite editor, as always, we're going to do the slice automatic sets up the sprites individually and now I'm going to name them as if they were they were a matrix because that's what I want to make my color is going to be a first character zero so the hair is going to be a second character zero this one is going to be zero one and the next one is going to be zero two so this is one zero because it's first hair second clothes one one center one and this one is going to be one two now for this one it's going to be two and zero it's going to be two one and this is going to be two two okay we are good to go now we have everything set up our names of the files we can check them out here zero zero one two one zero one two and we're fine i'm going to create a scripts folder scripts and I'm going to create a script called customization I'm going to create also I'm going to create an empty object which is going to be my I'm going to call it game manager I was calling it customization manager for practice but game manager is fine so I'm going to open my customization script and the first thing I'm going to pull up I'm going to try and find my sprites so my sprites are <clears throat> an array of sprites and I'm gonna call them sprite sheet. I also want to know the current uh, I want to know two ends. These are the current hair ID and the current color ID. For now this is fine. Uh, we need oh no wait I also need an image. Which what's this image? It's this one. The one I have on the menu. I'm gonna assign some sprite to it. Doesn't matter which one but I'm gonna assign zero zero. It doesn't look too good because it's too large. Doesn't matter. I just thought that you know, Fire Emblem. I love Fire Emblem. I'm playing Fire Emblem right now, so this is beautiful for me. Uh, so okay, we need to find that image. So how do we find it? We just add using Unity Engine that UI, and we find an image over here. It's gonna call it representation. Representation. Okay, so what is representation? Well, representation is game object that find representation exactly as typed out here with a capital R. And so it has a get component image. That's my representation of my character in the real world. So current hair ID equals zero current color ID equals zero. So now for the exciting part, sprite sheet equals resources I load all. I'm gonna load all sprites. Oops, sprites. Which are contained in oh it's not sprites, it's sprite because it's a type. Okay, which are contained in a file called Robin Tutorial SS dot PSD. Robin tutorial as that, that that PSD doesn't go okay so what did I do here I grab I have an array of sprites called sprite sheet and I loaded everything that's in a, a file called Robin tutorial SS which is in the resources folder of my project resources folder if I had another folder inside resources I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the name new folder with a space. I will have to do this. New folder if this file was inside there with this kind of slash, not the other one, this one. But it's on the root of resources. 
so I don't have to do anything else. Okay, good. Now we have that. I don't need update. What I need is what I actually need is um to create. I'm sorry, just dogs are trying to fight each other for some reason. Uh, they're weird dogs. Um, okay, I need a public void. It's gonna be called change hair. And public void change color. Okay, now we have both functions. These functions are obviously going to go into my hair changing button and my color changing button. Okay. So I need to think of my logic. What's my logic? What do I want to do here? So I want to I have as I said I have three uh, names for my sprites which are I mean these are all constant. Robin tutorial says is the same but the numbers change. So the first number is color and the second number is hair. So I need to cycle through the matrix. First I need to know which um, hair, ID, hair ID will I have and then I need to know which color ID will I have. So I have two. Every time I press the button I, was my, I want my, 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 my number to go up. So that would say that would be current hair ID plus plus. But I want it to cycle. If it's zero, I want it to be one and then on up until two and then go back to zero. So if current hair ID is less than two, then it will, you know, add up. But else, if current hair ID is actually two, what do I do? I go back to zero equals zero. Doing this, I have zero first, then one, two, zero. Zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, all the time. So what, what's, what's this good for? Well, I need to create a function which is going to go through my sprite sheet. It's going to be a for each. So for each sprite that I have, I, want, I have to give a name to the sprite, so I'm going to name it name. For each sprite name, I'm, not, I'm gonna call it S, capital S. Um, I have in sprite sheet. So for every single sprite in this sprite sheet, uh, what is gonna happen is if that name S that name, if a name equals what what does it equal? It equals Robin. Remember every file is called Robin Tutorial SS something. I'm gonna copy and paste this Robin Tutorial SS underscore plus something. What's something? Something is first the color, current color ID, and then the current hair ID. If the name of the file, uh, if there's a name, if there's a file called Robin.jl SS, current color ID, which is zero, and then current hair ID, which is zero, one, or two, then what do I do with it? Well, my image, which is called representation, that Sprite is going to be equals to S. S, I mean. It's that simple. Just find the sprite sheet with the number code that I gave it, and then change the sprite to this. And then we have to do the same for the color. So just copy this. And paste it here. And do current color ID. Current color ID. Everything that says current hair, just change to color, color ID. Current color ID. Okay. This is obviously remains the same. This is the same code because it's the same images. So I'm gonna just go ahead, hit play, and I forgot to assign it to this button. It's okay. On click, my hair changer. It's gonna take the function, a change hair, and then color changer is gonna take the function. You guessed it change color there you go save play okay so it's cycling through the red ones and then I change the color and it's gonna cycle through the green ones it seems as if you your player is only choosing the hair or the head but what you're actually doing is changing the full sprite of oh, I, I love programming so I'm just you're changing the full sprite Okay, so now that we have this, 
um, I'm gonna pause the tutorial here because I'm gonna want to make it too long but now that I have this uh, what's gonna happen next is we're gonna assign strength agility and intelligence is gonna be of course much easier and then I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna we're gonna create the game object into a scene a simple scene it's just gonna be a floor and it's gonna be like I'm gonna create it not through a prefab but through code full code just another way to create objects so thanks for watching if you have any questions just ask them in the comments or in my Twitter or whatever you want thanks for watching see you later